Shalom, Israel. It's, it's going, going down. 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 It's that time again. Come join us at the 49th annual Passover. Shalom, this is Captain Rock Design of the ISBK down here in Atlanta, Georgia. Inviting you to the ISBK's 49th annual Passover. You understand? Passover this year will be held on March 30th at the Roosevelt Ballroom. It's in 2nd Hudson Street, Yonkers, New York. And we invite all blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians to this year's Passover in the spirit of brotherhood. That's what the Passover is about. That's what the ISBK is about. It's brotherhood. You understand? Me personally, I'm going to be bringing all of Atlanta, Georgia. Captain Marvel Quad will be bringing out Chicago. Captain Godot will be bringing out all of California. You understand? And we're going to get it in. We're going to get it in the spirit of brotherhood. And in the spirit of brotherhood, you understand? You can't fit the bill. You understand? Passover is $200 per person, per family. If you cannot fit that bill, Commander Jeremy Johanna will pay it for you. If you need help with transportation, Commander Jeremy Johanna will pay that for you. You understand? Just contact your nearest camp leader or your captain in your city. You understand? Like I said, I got Officer Yamiya here with me. I got Officer Tazahad, Officer Abaria. You understand? And we gonna be bringing all of Atlanta, all of Georgia to this year's Passover. Come on, it's March 30th at Sunday. All Israel is invited for the 49th annual feast of the Passover. Brought to you by Commander General Yahana and the IIPK. So you better not miss it. Shalom. 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 Yahweh Shamar Shalom. Shalom. Yahweh Shalom. Shalom. This is the ISUPK started out of 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under command of General Yahana. You know what I'm saying? Uh, kind of, uh, we've been sent by the Lord to raise up blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Teach y'all the truth about your history, language, culture, all of that. You know what I'm saying? And one thing that's uh, uh, crazy is that how how we ended up, turned out in, in uh, today's society. We allowed the, the white man to strip what made us a people away from us. That's right. Which is our God, the law, statutes, and commandments. Go, go ahead and grab that first scripture, Dr. Shaw. Time. Isaiah 26 and 16. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy casting, chastening was upon them. Every time y'all been in trouble or every time something bad happened or every time somebody uh, died, in your family, something bad happened. You, uh, you starving it and you hungry. You, uh, that's when you want to scream out, uh, Jesus, Jesus, this, Jesus, that. Right. You scream that out, uh, Lord Jesus. Oh, he need Jesus or something like that. But you don't cry out when stuff go good. You don't call on the name of the Lord when it's good. Right. You don't call on Yahweh. You don't even know your God. That's right. You don't even know Christ's real true name. You know what I'm saying? You calling on a homosexual white man in a church named Cedar Borgir. You calling on white Jesus. When have a white man ever saved a nigga? Right. Ever. He been murdering, raping, and robbing you for hundreds of years, man. Go ahead. Can you one more time? Ton, Isaiah 26 and 16. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when they chastening us like it. Chastening was upon them. Two more. Like as a woman was child. When whenever uh when everything's good, y'all don't even think about the Lord. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all too busy praying to Allah. Praying to a rock. Y'all too busy trying to love and caress your enemies. That's killing. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and grab Proverbs 28 9. John. 
when y'all pray to the Lord and y'all time of calamity and trouble, when y'all down and out, when y'all hurting, when y'all family is getting killed because of this society and oppression that they under, y'all praying to a, a, a false God right. in the Christian church. Y'all praying to a white man, a white Jesus, but y'all ain't playing to the black Jesus. That's right. Black Yahweh shot. You know what I'm saying? That's who you need to be praying to, your true God. Look into this Bible and find out what, what your true God said. The Lord said, keep the law, statutes, and commandments. But every time you go into a Christian church, you hear them, the laws is done away with. Right. They uh, eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, and all that in the church. Then you turn around and you find, find out that the, the pastor is molesting the kids or sleeping with somebody's wife. Or he just a plain, straight up homosexual sleeping with his naked and his his officials in his church. And then on top of that, he's taking all your money and got a Range Rover outside right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all praying to the God of that church. Right. Which is not the God of the Bible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Every, right. so like you. Mm -hmm. Every time y'all pray, because y'all continue to sin and transgress against what the Lord told y'all to do, the Lord's not hearing your prayer. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Come. Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. When you when you go into your Christian church and you uh agree with the pastor when he say the laws is done away with, or you out here eating all kind of chitlins. Hog moths, rats, roaches, all of that. Shrimp is roach, is a sea roach, by the way, just to let you know. That is unlawful. That is transgressing the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Your God, your true God, the living God, gave you a commandment in this Bible, gave you laws in this Bible. You know what I'm saying? Your forefathers wrote down their testimonies and their history for you to learn from. So you won't beat up bottom and get shot up in a, a Christian church or a Orlando nightclub or on the street selling loose cigarettes. Right. They wrote this down in the Bible for you to learn from so that won't happen to you. So the Lord will protect you. But since y'all throw away the Bible and take Christianity instead, y'all gonna continue to die in America. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna continue to be oppressed by every other nation in America. The white man gonna continue to shoot you, policemen shoot you, he gonna continue to recruit your sons to his military and send them off and die. And then turn around and say, he know what he signed up for. Right. That's gonna continue to happen if you continue to serve the God in the church. Caesar Borgir. Go ahead. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. You trying to pray to the Lord, you in your calamity, you suffering and crying. When you pray to the Lord because you refuse to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, he ain't hearing that. That's disgust. Your prayer to him is disgusting. It's an abomination to him. Right. Because you refuse to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, then you're going to turn around and try to cr uh, cry to him try to pray to him, he ain't having that. The only way you gonna get your prayers heard is if you follow the law, statutes, and commandments. The only way you gonna stop getting sh shut up in these Christian churches, blown up in these Christian churches, is following the law, statutes, and commandments. That's how. Go ahead. Come, keep reading. Uh, 
Read that from the top, Barbara Kasha. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. And then grab uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 28. Every time. If you keep on turning your ear, being hard hearted, if you keep on coming up against the men in the ICPK, coming up against what the Bible really says, coming up against the most high, coming up against Christ, coming up against your true culture, customs, you're going to continue to die in America. Right. You're going to continue to suffer. Your prayers are going to continue to not be heard by the Lord. And we're going to stay in slavery for another 400 years. That's Messing right. around with you Christians. Go ahead. Proverbs 15 and 28. The heart of the righteous study it to answer. We in the ISUPK, we study these scriptures to answer these problems out here in the, in the black community, Hispanic community, Native Indian community. We study these scriptures right here. We study the law, statutes, and commandments, learn them, do them, and teach them to you so we can get out of captivity in America, so we can stop dying in America, so our prayers could be heard by the Lord. Go ahead. Come, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. But every time we come out and tell you on the, on the corner of every major city in America, y'all come out and disrupt us, y'all come out and come up against us, try to harm us, or just try to stop the truth of the scriptures from coming out. Go ahead. Come. The Lord is far from the wicked. The Lord is far from y'all. Why? Because you out here sinning, of course. You out here hating another brother. You out here killing and shooting your own people. You out here selling drugs to your own people. Right. You out here uh, molesting your daughters and kids. You out here allowing your kids to go into the culture of another nation. That's why the Lord is far from y'all. That's why every time you go into the hood, it's nothing but, it's hell. None but hell in the hood right now. Right. Go ahead. Come. But he hear the prayer of the righteous. If you start following the law, statutes, and commandments, that's the Lord's going to hear you. The Lord's going to hear that prayer. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and grab uh, Daniel 9 and 13. Come. 9 and 13? Yeah, come. The Lord will hear you. The Lord will hear your prayer. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord's not hearing that uh, gang gang run off on the plug twice. He ain't hearing that homosexual uh, shit on the radio you listening to. Right. He ain't hearing that uh, Egyptology you spitting, that third chakra eye open nonsense <laughs> that you talking about. Penal gland. <laughs> he ain't with them damn dreads y'all got. Right. That's not your culture, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. That's the East Indian culture. All right. Do some research. Pull up your history. You're going to learn that that's not your culture. You're not no African. You're not none of that. You're not no Buddhist. You're not no Muslim. You ain't no Arab or none of that. Right. You are one of the 12 tribes of the House of Israel, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Once you learn that, that's when you can start following the law, statutes, and commandments. You should already be doing it. But since your parents sin, they taught you how to sin. Once you sin, you gonna teach your kids how to sin. Why you think ne Negroes in America are still out here celebrating all these uh, holidays in America? Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Valentine's Day. Right. That was not our culture. The right. scriptures say, uh, don't go into the ways of the heathens. That's right. You know what I'm saying? 
Go ahead. Daniel 9 and 13, as it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil. The law, statutes and commandments is the laws that Moses wrote down. Right. For you. After y'all, after the Lord brought us out of Egypt, that's where, what was written down. Go ahead. All this evil is come upon us, yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God. All this evil is happening to us in America right now. You know what I'm saying? Abortions at an all-time high. AIDS at an all-time high. High cholesterol and blood, uh, high blood pressure is at an all-time high. Did I say AIDS? already hiv sexual transmitted diseases herpes gonorrhea look at usher you know what i'm saying child support tyree tyree <laughs> you know what i'm saying all types of oppression right and death is happening to black hispanics and native indians because you refuse to serve your true god man you refuse to to uh, serve your true God. You too busy trying to be comedic Egyptologist, uh, Egypt swallogist, uh, Gab loving, all of that. Caesar Borgia, white man loving. That's right. You niggas out here in the world, in the Christian church, come up against us just so you can come for the white man and kiss his behind. You know what I'm saying? And then the same white man that you kissing his behind and and loving him and worshiping him, he turning around and murdering you every day. Planned Parenthood. Two, over two million black brothers, two million black Hispanics and Native Indians in a uh, prisons right now, dead. Slave, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's uh, Daniel chapter 9, verse 13. From the top. Yeah, it's already there. Go ahead and read that from the top. Daniel 9 13. Read about it. Daniel chapter 9 13. As it is written in the law of Moses, as it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil is come upon us. All these curses is going to come upon you. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because you refuse to follow the law, statutes, and commandments in the Bible, man. And the scripture. It, it's already been prophesied the condition that the black, Hispanic, and Native Indian people are in right now. It's already been prophesied. Why do you think there's so much hell in the hood right now? So much... Uh, Gang, gang, gang shit in the hood right now. Right. You go out uh, over north in the summertime, all you hear is gunshots at night. Right. You know what I'm saying? All I can think when I hear the gunshots, damn, another brother died. Right. Damn, another brother died. You know what I'm saying? Because they refuse to come and follow and serve the Lord. They refuse to keep the law of Sash and Commandments. Go ahead. Yet may we not our prayer before the Lord our God. And your prayer ain't going to get heard unless you follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead. That we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Our prayer in the ISUPK is that y'all come into the one body of Christ, which is here. ISUPK. Start out at 1 West 125th Street. That's our prayer is for you to come in here and start following the law, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead. Verse 14. Therefore hath the Lord watched upon the evil. The Lord is watching you, man. When you in the cut in that dark place thinking nobody's seeing you, then you about to, oh yeah, I'm about to hit a stain. The Lord is watching you, man. Why you think your little brother Tuki just uh Got shot and died last week. Why you think that happened? Because the Lord saw what you did. Go ahead. No, go ahead and uh, grab Second Chronicles chapter thirty-four, verse twenty-five. 
Colonel McCarthy. The Lord was watching you when you sold that pack to your grandma. The Lord was watching you when you sold that ice. The Lord was watching you when you uh, slept with your brother's wife or girlfriend or whatever they call it nowadays. The Lord was watching you when you did that. The Lord is watching your Christian pastor take all your money in, in that Christian church. The Lord is watching him take your money, buy Rolls Royce, and tell you that his law, statutes, and commandments that he told you from the beginning to follow was done away with. When that's not in the scriptures, man. Christ never taught that. None of the prophets taught that. We don't teach that. And that's just not the truth. If you uh, continue to say the laws is done away with, then can you're going to continue to die out here in America. Go ahead. It's like, yeah, nah. it's, uh, Sorry, Second Chronicles chapter 34, verse 25. You know what I'm saying? That's what's con continued to happen to you. I already know in, in, in your little head, you're like, damn, why all this bad shit keep happening to me? Damn, why this is happening? Damn, why that's happening? Damn, I ain't got no choice. I got to sell this, this pack. Otherwise, my kids ain't going to eat. Why is that? Because you, your parents, your parents' parents, and then they parents before that decided to turn their back from the Lord. That's why that's happening. Go ahead. Second Chronicles 34, 25. Because they forsaken me. Because you forsake the Lord. Go ahead. And have burned incense unto other gods. And you in that Christian church serving Caesar Borgia or worshiping white people. Go ahead. That they might provoke me to anger. The Lord has sent crack in your neighborhood. Guns in your neighborhood, Planned Parenthood, the white man, police, sent all of that, put you in America in slavery for over 450 years. Go ahead. With all the works of their hands. Because you continue to sin against the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Turn your back. All of that. Because of that, the Lord's anger is upon us. Go ahead. Therefore, my wrath shall be poured upon are poured out upon this place. That's why when you go and serve in the white man's military in Vietnam, you come back, you die from getting lynched by the white man. Right. The same man you've been going into the military to protect, that same man's going to come back home and, and lynch you. Go ahead. That's right. And shall not be quenched. We are going to continue to die in America as long as it takes. We already been here 450 years. The Lord's anger is not going to be quenched. You just we just read it right here in the scripture. As long as you continue to sell your your uh brothers and sisters weed and crack in the neighborhood, that's a, that's how long the Lord is going to continue to destroy you and your whole nation. That's how long is we're not going to have any uh, businesses. We're not going to prosper in America. The celebrity is going to continue to go over to Africa and build them up and not their own neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 26. And as for the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, so shall ye say unto him, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Concerning the words which thou hast heard. It's our job in the ICPK to turn you away from all of these custom cultures and religions of these heathens. To give you back a true meaning in the earth. To raise up the Lord's chosen people again in the earth. To become a nation again. That's our job. That's right. We're not finna continue to allow our people to die in America for no longer. You know what I'm saying? We gonna bring out this truth no matter what it takes. Right. No matter what come up against us. No matter how many times we get ran over by cars, 
no matter how many accidents we have, no matter how many times people spit at us, no matter how many times they tell us to get off the corner, we ain't hearing that. Right. No matter how much y'all come up against us, we gonna keep bringing up this truth. That's right. And we yeah. ain't we ain't taking no punches up in here. Right. Not in the right. 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 Not up in this school. You know what I'm saying? You punch at us, we punch it back. That's all I gotta say. That's right. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28, 15. You shoot, at, you shoot at us, we shoot back. Right. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you continue to say uh, the laws is done away with, if you continue to say uh, the, the God of the Bible don't exist, not real, God's not real, if you continue to say uh, we Africans and from Kemet, you continue to say uh, I lie this and I lie that, smacking rocks, go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. If you don't serve the Lord and keep the law, statutes, and commandments in the Bible, then what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and all, overtake thee. All these curses going to come upon thee in America, in Africa, in Germany, in Russia, wherever you at. If you not, if you a black Hispanic, a Hispanic and Native Indian, and you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, all these curses in the scriptures going to come upon me and kill you and take you. You, your family, your kids, everybody. Go ahead. Curse shalt thou be in the city. You're going to be cursed in every city you go, no matter what continent you on. If you in Africa, if you in Asia, if you in North Korea, if you in America, Canada, no matter where you are on this planet, if you ain't following the law, statutes, and commandments, and you a, a black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, you're gonna be cursed. And, and you know what I'm saying? You're gonna die. Go ahead. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. Every field, every country, every hill, all of that. All right. Go ahead and grab Deuteronomy uh, chapter thirty, verse six. Come on, come. What more could really be said? You ain't sick of uh, police brutality. You ain't sick of being poor and broke in the hood. You ain't sick of all them roaches crawling all over your face while you sleep. You know what I'm saying? Bed bugs biting, you, biting your neck. You ain't tired of all of that. You ain't tired of all of these plagues and curses that you go through every day. Black women, you ain't tired of that uh, dry ass flicking hair, dead hair you got. From all them perms and weave, I seen uh, I seen a few videos on Facebook of uh, some some sisters having like maggots in their head from having their weave in so long. Right. You ain't tired of all of that. Go ahead. Deuteronomy thirty six, and the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart. If if you keep this is how you keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You keep the laws, that's that's called being circumcised in the heart because you you following what the Lord told you to do. Go ahead. The heart meaning mind. Go ahead. And the heart of thy seed. And the heart of your kid, the mind of your kid. You're going to train up your kid how to keep the laws. That's the commandments. Go ahead. To love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. You're going to. You in the truth in the ISUPK, you're gonna teach your kids how to how to keep the truth, how to serve the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And with all thy soul, go ahead. That thou mayest live. You do all of this so your kids and their kids could live. Don't nobody want they uh grandson to die at 20. They son to die at uh, 12 years old, but that's what's happening in the black community today because you're too busy listening to these Christian pastors tell you the laws is done away with. Because you're listening to them, the Lord is destroying us, killing us as a nation. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And 
With that being said, we got uh, this in Minneapolis, Minnesota, ISUPK. We got classes all week online, ISUPK online classes, Monday through Friday, man. With that being said, Shalom, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, Barak, Tatwa, my brother, Shalom, Yahweh, Shemar, Utan, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, Tatwa, my sister. Shalom. Shalom, Israel. It's going down. It's that time again. Come join us at the 49th annual Passover. Hey, Shalom, Israel. Yahweh, Hashem, Shabbat Shalom. That's Priest of Captain Kandahar coming out of California telling all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to be at the Lord's 49th annual Passover 2018. Yonkers, New York is going down. Come on, March 30th at Sunday. All Israel is invited. For the 49th annual Feast of the Passover, brought to you by Commandant General Yohanna and the ISPK. So you better not miss it. Shalom. Shalom.